And I used to report them. I used to report people at, at least twice a week. I used, when I was like 19, 20, you want to talk about how OG Republican I am? When I was like 19, I worked in this place called Handy Pantry on Long Island. And it was a deli convenience store. It was like an all-in-one shop. I love Handy Pantry. They got great fucking bread, great rolls. That place fucking rules, man. The food there is great. It's a little deli, but it's like a chain of delis on Long Island. And I worked at the Handy Pantry, and I had people come in every single night, every night. And they would swipe that EBT card, and everything they bought, it was always junk. They were never buying cold cuts. They were, they were never buying milk. They were never buying things that were, you know, bre like healthy things. It was always load up on junk food, max out the EBT card. And you know what these fuckers would do? As soon as they would fucking swipe the card and pay for all their food and all their shit, they'd go, okay, now that we did that purchase... I also need to buy, let me get a carton of smokes, let me get uh, two 18 packs of beer, and let me get a couple of these, and, and they'd get like the big scratch-off ticket. Like when I play a scratch-off ticket, which is rare, I rarely play scratch-off tickets, but when I play them, I play big ones. I don't fuck around, I don't play those $1, $2. Like if I play a scratch-off, it's once every two months, and I'm like, yo, let me get that $30 one, let me get that $20 one, that, that's what I play, because go, go big or go home. But these people would pay for like the, the big boy lotto tickets, the $20 ones, the big boys. And they would break out a lot of cash and they'd pay for their lotto. They'd pay for their beer. They'd pay for their smokes. And they'd pay for all this other shit. And I used to report them. I used to report people at, at least twice a week. At least two, three times a week, I would, I would be calling the fucking welfare office. And I'd go, this person just fucking showed at least $1,000 in cash on them. And I would send them the videotapes of, like, people buying these fucking rolls of lotto tickets after they just swiped their EBT card. Because, yeah, I think that's fucked up, man. I really think it's fucked up. Oh, I know they don't care, Ruse, but look, it, sometimes it's not about whether or not they're going to do something about it. I just needed to do my part. If you're going to fail to do your part, then go ahead. You don't, not, I don't mean you. I mean, like, if you work for the welfare office and you don't care, then that, it's not my job to make you care. I did my part, though, my part of reporting it at least. Um, because fuck these people. Fuck them. If you're too fat to work or you're sitting around all day, like, I'm sorry, I've never had that in me. I've never in my life, ever in my life, have I had a desire to take things for free. I know. And I know people could say, you, you, if you're an e-bagger, you do a fucking Streamlab show. Yeah, but I do content and people are free to give me money or free to tell me to go fuck myself and not give me anything. But I'm not rattling a tin can begging people for money in front of a store. And I'm certainly not taking welfare and I'm not taking food stamps. And, and it's like, to me, it, you should have, and this is what's wrong with certain communities. Uh, is that now they're 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 like third, fourth, fifth generation welfare, and it's normalized. It's it doesn't. There's no longer a feeling of shame for just taking the state's money to live. There's no more shame in it in certain communities. And I just I grew up. My my family was a fucking mess. Don't get me wrong. And we were white trash and we were crazy. But you say what you want about my, my family. A lot of people in my family worked hard. And that was something that was instilled. Go work. Go make some. Most real, this particularly applies, I'm not leaving women out um, of this one, but this I'm just saying this applies a lot to men in general. Men don't like handouts. They don't. A real man does not want to live on handouts. A real man does not want to live on charity. A real man wants to earn something. Even if it's a modest living, most real men would rather earn a modest living than make the same amount to just sit around and collect a check from the government. Most real men are like that. You just, you don't, and it's not because we're great or we're good. It's just an instinct of like, I don't want to owe anybody anything and I don't want you fucking hand. Men want to feel like they, like whatever they have is theirs. 
That's why men predominantly more often than not white men vote Republican or vote Libertarian because what's yours is yours. Real men want to feel like I'm, I made this, so it's, it's mine. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's no worse feeling in the world than somebody going, don't worry, I got this. And you're like, Ugh, you know? So yeah, I just don't, I, the fat, fat people on fucking disability, disgusting, lazy people on welfare. Like I, I would, dude, if I could be president, I would not, not slash, not gut. I would nuke those programs. And by the way, another side note to my welfare rant, if you got rid of food stamps tomorrow, and I mean all of them across the country, no more food stamps ever again. Do you know what would happen? Every one of those motherfuckers would still eat. Every single one of those motherfuckers would find a way to eat. Because it's... It's literally ingrained in our DNA, survival. You know what I mean? If you're hungry, you're gonna go find food. And if somebody's just handing you free food every week, it's like feeding a bear. Eventually that bear does not know how to go out and produce its own food because you've been feeding it pieces of your fucking Wawa sandwich at the park every week. Now the bear shows up every week like, where's my sandwich? It, 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 it's it, it's frustrating, man. It really is frustrating. Somebody said, yeah, they'd crack open a Walmart or so, a pneumatic artist. Yeah, good. Then let them do that. Let them steal from the Walton family. Those cunts get enough fucking subsidies from the government and all of their employees are on welfare because these cocksuckers don't want to pay them a living wage. Let them fucking steal from the Waltons. Let them steal from Jeff Bezos. Let them steal from those cocksuckers. I'm tired of them stealing from me. And you and all of us. Period. Fuck it. Fine. Let them rob the Walmart. I'm okay with that. What? By the way, Stu is saying some of us need disability. And I've met Stu in person. And Stu has a legitimate injury from from what? From what? From working. From fucking working. That's what disability used to be. Disability used to be, oh, you were born disabled or... Oh shit, you were working like a normal human being and then you got hurt? Gee, we as a society, we as a civilized nation should take care of those people who put in effort to try to feed themselves and got hurt. Yes, we should all look out for those people. But if you're just a fat piece of shit, I don't care if you wither away. I don't care. It's not my problem.